Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Um, yeah, Matic chart unchanged. Um, the price is currently holding the ascending trend line there. That might break if the B wave shows a little bit more weakness there. Yeah, this is the B wave of wave five. We've already seen in the last few days that this B wave um, could have started to unfold. So the decline that we see at the moment shouldn't really surprise anybody. Yeah, I had the wave count on the chart. Um, the B wave, B wave wasn't finished at this stage, so, um, but it would be, I mean, I would prefer if it holds the trend line, but let's be real, if Bitcoin comes down a little lower, probably Matic will as well. And, um, but that's not a problem. I see at the moment no reason to change the support area at all. I see currently no reason to change the scenario. We are still primarily tracking here an ascending, um, basically you could say an ascending wedge pattern. Basically it's just a price channel, a leading diagonal, I call it. Um, I'd like to see that fifth wave to form. So far it hasn't formed yet. This uh, can it turn into different structures here, absolutely. I'm currently of the view that the wave five has started, but overall, um, because we haven't broken above the third wave high, numerous possibilities are here still, you know, uh, it could still unfold here. That doesn't change the base case at, at all. For example, the wave four could still be unfolding as an Elliott wave triangle <laughs> into next year. Can you imagine? Possible. Why not? You know, um, and the reason is that is valid because the move up is a three wave move. In triangles, you have five waves, but each of the sub waves is a three wave move. So wave A, B, C, D, E. That's one possibility, but the price would need to stay above um, 72 cents for that. It is entirely possible that, yeah, my wave count here that's currently preferred is playing out nicely. And then we have here an A wave. We have to give, however, that B wave a lot of space. B waves can even overshoot to the downside. Yeah, it wouldn't change the assumption at all. It would all be covered by the current scenario. Even if we get a low B wave, I would for now just keep the 64 cent level as key support. So I haven't adjusted to support. That means we have to give it more space uh, or we just have to give it the space that we gave it before as well. Just note B waves can overshoot to the downside. The most straightforward way would of course be if the B wave finishes here in this region and we just go up directly. But if really Bitcoin comes down a little lower, Ether as well and the other altcoins, then probably we'll see a little bit of a more pronounced B wave. Um, yeah, and overall, however, as long as we're holding 64 cents, there's no change. The only thing, if we come down into the support box again, I will have to decide, do I call that an overshooting B wave to the downside? Or do I call that just a reset of the wave four? Both possible. Um, just note that we just have to give the B wave that space. I know it's frustrating, but B waves can also overshoot to the downside. They can do that. In the end, it will not really matter. Support will probably stay the same. I wouldn't change it at 64 cents. So it's more of an academic thing. What do we call it? Um, and it wouldn't change the expectation of a fifth wave to unfold still, or let's say the C wave. A break above the last swing high at around about 94, 95 cents would confirm that the C wave is unfolding and it should be an impulse ideally. Um, and it should move up like this. Yeah, maybe not that aggressive, but um, that C wave is basically still outstanding at the moment. I only have three waves up. Um, um, also have three waves up here of this low. Okay, so again, that doesn't clearly give me um, give me the understanding that wave five has started. I assume it, yeah, um, but it just needs to continue now. And I just shared with you because we are in a diagonal pattern. Again, we have to brace ourselves for potential wave count changes. Happens all the time. It's part of that even though it worked out quite nicely here with dip into support a rally out of support. Maybe we, we dip into the support area again and then this setup is still valid. Okay. Only below 64 cents. I would have to look at something more bearish. Okay. That's my update about Matic. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content and please check out the channel membership, also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. You can find the links in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.